Bye everyone. We're back. We're home. We survived. We did. Where We're are still we? Married. Where are we though? We are currently in Wollongong. What can you say about Wollongong? Great ocean. <laughs> we'll talk about the Wollongong Ocean later. <laughs> Greatest rugby league moment ever. So we're at what is this thing called? Forages Wollongong? Yes. Yeah, they normally do what, Sunday at Bulleye? Yes. But they and have a Friday day one in yeah. the Crown Street Mall at Wollongong. And we're we, usually and at we work. Know, yeah. Yeah. We actually have jobs. We do. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see what we can find. So we had some little puppy again. So we got from Molly and Meat Barkery. He's got roast chicken. And he has kangaroo, which is his favourite. And then a kangaroo dental chew. You can still nice and pink. Yeah. We have to introduce you all to the guys. Yes, you will all meet Jack. Part of the next video. Okay, mate X. No idea at all. Uh huh. That's the face of oh guilt right there. Totally new. Sure, pickles, mate, on cheeseburger. I wonder what we'll get. What do you reckon, what? Oh, I'm thinking a brisket roll. Yeah, I'm thinking a brisket roll too. So we're we'll gonna get brisket. You can have a cheeseburger. Ooh. Ooh, that's new. Ooh, that's tempting. I think we get one of each. Okay. Okay. So in amongst all this wind and trying to dodge everything, we have a brisket burger and a brisket roll. Because of course we sw we stalked some two smoking barrels. Yes. So yeah, I've never had this burger but it looks pretty good. And we know that that is just amazing. I don't know what the wife's going to say when she watches this video that my microphone looks like a doodle. <laughs> <laughs> Doodle. <laughs> so, yeah, that was pretty sexy, wasn't it, wife? Yes, it was. So, oh, brisket roll definitely better than a burger. Call on that. Yeah. So, there's a whole bunch of fresh food. Mm. Meh. It's a little bit hippie. Yeah, it seems like it's just a bit... Meh. grow everything organically and don't wear deodorant kind of crowd. Yeah, that one. Yep. Which, yeah, not a fan of that crowd. Hmm. Hmm. Even the treats and stuff, like all the sweet stuff, looks a bit hippy-dippy. Yeah. Gluten-free. Yeah, a lot of gluten-free, a lot of vegan. Yeah. Which is not for us. No. See, a lot of stuff like that. I have no issue with gluten. And I definitely have no issue with me. I do. Gluten makes my dick shoot off. South Park style. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> True story. True story. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways. So, yeah, this has been a bit of a... Dud. Yeah. But I got brisket, so whatever. Yeah. We'll say though, those chicken kebabs are right here look a bit sexy. A little bit sexy. Mm. But, I've al good. but I've already demolished myself too much on that. What am I in a beverage show? Yeah, <laughs> definitely thinking beverage. We'll track down a beverage, I think. And then we'll show you the rest of the sites of Wollongong. <laughs> Whatever. Seriously. I've got to deal with this all the time. So difficult. I know what you want me to do. Yeah, come on, do it. <laughs> there we go. That's going to be on every video now. I've waited 
the whole time doing this to get that and I have it I might even just make a 10 minute video of just that on a loop so yeah thanks wife up next our divorce proceedings <laughs> I'm looking forward to lose half my shoes anyway I don't think I'll make that 10 minute video so that is the great Wollongong Ocean <laughs> So I think it was about 1992, Paul Warden on the commentary team, yeah, he called the Pacific Ocean, which is what this is, he called it the Wollongong Ocean, because down there, right there, it's where Illawarra used to play, and now they're St George Illawarra because they're merged and they choke. <laughs> sharks forever. Woo, go Sharks. So we have a question. Once I get my camera around. Also, it's story time and we have a question. What's the biggest thing you have ever seen a pelican put in its mouth? Do not try it at home. Just disclaimer, do not try and do anything to a pelican. I know a lot of you are sick. So the story goes that apparently a lady was walking a little dog. We do believe a chihuahua. Yes, it was a chihuahua. And a pelican took off with it. Port Macquarie, apparently, and the lady's screaming hysterically, tr grabbing the lead, trying to get the pelican to... Drop the dog. Which it did, eventually, and the chihuahua was shaking and wet. Yeah. So, our question is, what do you think is the biggest thing a pelican get, get in its mouth? Now, we haven't wanted to experiment too much, because we love our jacks, and... Nobody would trust us with a newborn. So... Look, I reckon if you coated a newborn in a bit of prawn, Pelican would take it. <laughs> no, we are not going to test out this theory. We promise. <laughs> Don't listen to it. We're doing it. Someone give us a newborn. <laughs> wow, I hope people don't see this video. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... That has become our lifelong mission to see a pelican take something that is just a bit too big for it. Yeah. Now, I've seen pelicans take, like, decent-sized fish, you know, but... Also, just a word of warning, if you're out fishing, do not feed the pelicans. Yeah, they're horrible. Don't feed them. We learnt that lesson. Just don't. Like, seriously, don't. Because we caught a number of fish... Which my esteemed husband thought, I want to feed a pelican, and gave it a fish. And then it brought another one, and then they fought over fish, and we could not get rid of them all day. Yeah, even with me running after them, still didn't work. Nope. So anyway, guys, pelicans. Yes, pelicans. What can pelicans eat? No. Not What's one. the biggest thing that What's pelicans What's the biggest thing? Newborns. Anyone experimented? Let us know. <laughs> Seriously. We may be laughing, but this is a serious topic. About time someone went after the pelican menace. Yes, darling. Pelicans. Pelicans. All, it's all the pelicans. For pelicans. Them. Friend or foe. Old man screams at cloud. <laughs> <laughs> been a lot of that over the past week and a bit. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. I think we're done with our exciting journey to pull it on. Because it really isn't much. No. That food thing was a bit of a dud, but we want to explore that pelican thing. Please leave... Leave comments. Leave comments. Tell us. <laughs> Tell us your pelican stories. We want your pelican stories, and we will mention... In another video, our favourite pelican stories. Yes. I might actually research pelican stories. Do people want to hear about pelicans? I don't know. They're they're a bit of a, you know, undiscovered territory, really. Yeah, because when we were in America, they were tiny pelicans. Yeah, they have different pelicans. They have brown ones, and yeah. they're half the size. Yeah. They're no, no, not this one. Yeah, we we don't want to find your American pelicans because that be like something this big we want like australian pelicans where they could probably you know eat a small car yeah and no one wants to talk about bin chickens 
Oh, no, bin chickens, that's another video. Yep. Also, shout out to Melbourne, no bin chickens. Yeah. We did not see a single bin chicken. That's an ibis too, by the way, for the uneducated people who don't know what we're talking about. Yeah. They were nowhere. But everywhere in Sydney. And I'm pretty sure I saw some when I was in Brisbane too. So, Melbourne, too cold for bin chickens. I guess so. Okay. Good talk. Okay. okay. I okay. think we're done. All right. All right. Bye. Bye, guys.